All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. That's right. Back here again today because, I don't know, random Friday review video. Why not? I don't have a theme for Fridays. There's no Friday theme. I don't know. So I'm just going to review another RDA. This is the Boss Hog RDA from ISM Vape. It's a four-post, weird airflow, weird airflow RDA. But in order to get to know it just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we always do. That is an ugly combo. Look at this copper mod that is just tarnished like crazy with a stainless steel RDA and a blue dot mod drip tip. Tell me how ugly that setup is, but it's a really nice little vape. In order to get to know this just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we always do. Quick short upy closey time. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw, we're going to spend a little bit of up close and personal time here with the Boss Hog RDA. And depending on how you look at it, you're either going to be seeing Boss or you're going to be seeing Hog. Now, I have this set up right now so that I can use my own drip tips on it. But this Boss Hog RDA also comes with its own ridiculous chuff style top cap. It's got all sorts of wonky airflow options. You can have single coil, dual coil, all or all the airflow open, but can we appreciate the size of this chuff cap? I mean, it's essentially the diameter of the atomizer itself. It's so ridiculously uncomfortable to use, but we're gonna take this off anyway. We're gonna push out this deck. There's your deck right there. It's a four post deck, flat head screws on top that are grippy with nubbins so that you can use a you know, needle nose pliers to screw them down. This is a uh, dual parallel 24 gauge wrap on here. This is my favorite mech mod build tiny shallow little juice well in there but yeah it's not a completely claustrophobic deck but it's not big it's kind of i don't know middle sized it's honestly a really easy deck to build on the post holes are big and the four post design makes it easy to make nice you know mostly centered coils on there your airflow ring has four holes around it so you can line up your holes right there with your coils right and then you're going to also have airflow coming in from the sides so you're going to have airflow directly hitting your coils like this and you're also going to have airflow from the sides and that is all adjustable using this top cap so we screw this on or we pop this on that's open, that's closed, that's open, that's closed. So now we're only using the airflow holes that are hitting our coils. But if we go over to the next one, let's see what happens. Open, 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 open. So there you go. Now you're using all four airflow holes at and indirectly hitting your coils. Additionally, this chuffed style top cap has down in airflow through these little holes right here. You can kind of see right through it right there. It's very, very strange. Scoot it over one, you got one open, one closed, one closed, one closed. So this is for single coil mode. If you're only rocking a coil on one side, this is the setting you use. And we have turned it over one more, we got open, 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 open. Perfect. That's exactly where we want to be. I actually want to be open, closed, closed, closed. Nope, that's not where I want to be. Let's try one more. Open. Open, open, open. No, I want to go back to this one. Open, closed, open, closed. That's the airflow that I like the best. What we're gonna do real quick right now is wick this, juice this, get back out to normal view. There's no uh, rings or ledges or stoppers on here, so if you don't have a top cap on, you can push the deck right through the middle of the RDA. Uh, I mean, you're not supposed to be able to do that. I mean, you're not supposed to do that, but it is possible. There's nothing stopping the deck from moving up unless you have a top cap on, but that was kind of pointless. There was no real reason to say that. So now what we're gonna do is wicket juice it and get back out to normal view. 
Sorry, real quick, it does have a nice protruding 510 pin on there. And since I said this is my favorite tube mech mod build, we're going to be rocking it on a tube mech mod. And this mech mod is the Jux mod. It happens to be a hybrid top cap. So this, with that protruding 510 pin, totally safe to use on a hybrid mech mod. Wicked, juiced, and vapors. So yeah, that that chuff cap dough is ridiculous. It is a ridiculous chuff cap. I generally like rocking this atomizer with the two air holes facing your coils open, the other two air holes closed. Now, with the other two air holes open, it's a really airy vape. I mean, it's an airy, like, cloud chasing status vape. It is really easy to drip through this giant, giant chuff cap on there, but it just looks so ridiculous and is so uncomfortable to use. I just, I can't stand this chuff cap. But, the clouds, bro, the clouds. So I'm gonna put this one back on here. I'm gonna knock it down to two holes. Open, closed, open, closed. Perfect. Regular top, regular dot mod atomizer on there, or atomizer dot mod drip tip on there. This airflow configuration, much, much nicer. So what we have here is a four post stainless steel made in the USA RDA. And all that means is that it's going to be really expensive. This RDA, I, like I said, I do like the vape I'm getting from this. And if we're playing the aliens game where aliens come down and take all of my vape gear, is the boss hog something I would seek out and buy? No. I wouldn't, I, w I wouldn't look for it. It's a fine vape. If you have one, use it and enjoy it. If you don't have one, bah, there's a thousand RDAs out there. The Boss Hog doesn't really bring anything super new or super revolutionary to the RDA game. It's a four post design. The center post is squared off so it won't spin. It uses flat head screws on top. You can throw kind of whatever build you want at this and it'll work and it'll work good. And it's got nice adjustable airflow. It's just expensive. It's just a hundred bucks at that price. Eh, I don't think an RDA should be a hundred dollars. I just don't. Even made in the USA, I don't feel like an RDA should be $100. But it is what it is. It is the boss hog. And I'll have a link down in the description to the ISM Vape site where you can check it out if you're interested. You never know. Someone watching this video could be watching it going, yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I need an atomizer with hog in the name. I need airflow pointing at my negative posts. And I need the world's largest chuff top cap. If that's you, you're welcome. Follow the link in the description and you too can own the boss hog. But anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.